with um, I fought professionally five different combat sports in M- MMA, Muay Thai, American kickboxing, Sanda, and K1 kickboxing. And throughout all those fights, I never once got kicked in the head. Now, it's happened in sparring over the years, not, not very often. But I think in every single one of these rounds, you, you beat me in the head with a kick. Super awesome control, which I appreciate. Otherwise, I, I'd have concussions right now. But uh, you, you head kicked me so many times. And I, I'm just so impressed with that. So um, let's, let's take a look and, and do some commentary. So uh, we did a bunch of rounds. I, I'm not sure how many. Um, we did something like seven. Seven or eight rounds. Yeah, seven or eight rounds, three minutes each. And, and again, it's, it's light contact sparring. And um, I put up a bunch of these uh, light sparring uh, uh, sessions that I've had in the gym with some of my students on, on YouTube. And most of the time, the, the um, feedback is pretty positive. But a lot of people will say things like, um, oh, why don't you put up some hard sparring? Enough of this wimpy sparring. You should hit each other hard, give it, hurt each other, basically. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so. I, I, I love oh, there's this. the first head kick right there. I love these people. Like, mostly do, the, the people who ask for, like, hard, hard sparring and stuff, like. Man, if we were like, sparring hard, I'd be dead right there. Like. There is no point like going hard sparring. Like for example, the best example I have is like that okay, another head kick right there. Yeah. People who are yeah, go kick. People who are like hard sparring mostly like this is cool from Holland this kind of stuff. Okay, most of those people are on steroids first of all. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like yeah, they go super hard, but they take like a lot of roids. So that's why mostly they are like doing roid rage sparring. If you look at for example Thai guys like guys like Senshai, Sama like. People who are just like ruling, like the the um, the role of striking, they don't do that much hard sparring for the simple reason that you don't want to get hurt, you don't want to get concussion, you don't want to get like broken ribs during sparring. Oh yeah. Like for me, you have to you have to keep in mind that your your sparring partner is here to help you to progress. So oh, if you just absolutely. like beat the crap out of your sparring partner or if you you do get like your crap beat you're not gonna get like anywhere you're just gonna get injured yeah. and you won't be able to do it again as exactly. many times as you need exactly so i think you can put a bit of power on the body you should avoid a uh, power shot in the head for the simple reason that concussion can happen and uh, like this is something you really want to avoid. Yeah, right there would have been another concussion, man. That that right high kick, you sneak it in. Uh, I, I like to use like the, the, the right high kick behind the neck because that's something that mostly people don't, don't see coming after the, um, the left, um, left uh, hook to the liver. That's a pretty, like, uh, pretty effective combo. That yeah, you for the body pull lot. that off so many times. And one one thing we were talking about, but between rounds was um, was how did you put it? Um, instead of focusing so much on what the other guy is doing, um, notice what you are doing that is eliciting a, a specific reaction from the other opponent. Yeah, like for example, I do this a lot in boxing because my boxing is uh, is like not that good. Like uh, I can box with like professional boxer, that's not a problem for me. But like in term, of, like I'm not that strong in boxing compared to my uh, striking. Like yeah. really not that strong. So I find people who can outbox me. Like simply, they just outbox me. Like they, yeah. the movement. The, I just try to punch, but sometimes they're gonna like sleep. They're gonna like control this so perfectly that yeah. I. I, 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 I got to admit, I tried, man. I tried to get into use my boxing, and and I. Right now, we've, we've done, uh, we sparred today eight rounds, we sparred the other day uh, a bunch of times, and uh, I have no idea how good your boxing is because I just couldn't get on the yeah. inside. That push kick, that teep, is so well-timed. But I think when it comes to kickboxing, my boxing is pretty good because I can use like the legs and stuff. So yeah. when it comes to only boxing, that's a different story. Boxing, boxing, and kickboxing, boxing, or Muay Thai boxing is not the same. Oh, it's so different. Totally different. It's so different. So what I S- do, same thing with mixed martial arts. Yeah, exactly, exactly with martial arts, like totally different. So what I do is like sometimes, if the guy is like way better than me, in boxing, I'm just gonna like 
start to throw punch, but not with the idea of connecting those punch, but just like making the other guy react and see how he's going to react to a set of combo, for example. If I use my jab, how he's going to move. My cross, how he's going to move. If I say like a one, two, three combo, how he's going to react. How he's going to counter me. And just look at that instead of like trying to punch him. And then after a few minutes or like one round or two rounds, like I start to get a Keep grasp going, of gonna... how we move, how we do... Uh, how we fight and then it's a bit easier to um, to connect my punches to uh, to get over like this uh, technical superiority from my opponent this is what uh, i do mostly uh, when uh, i get outboxed in uh, in pure boxing yeah you know it's, it's so interesting a lot of times you'll have um, I'll, I'll hear boxers who've never kickboxed never done mma never grappled anything like that they'll they'll watch um, they'll watch like a muay thai fighter they'll watch an mma fight say oh those guys don't know how to box and to an extent, that's true, but it's, it's a different thing. It's just like you were saying, it's a different thing. Yeah, like for example, if you drop any, I really said any pure boxer in a kickboxing match, Muay Thai match, or like worse, like MMA match, he will never be able to apply his boxing. Never, ever, ever. For the simple reason that there is one thing that's called the low kick. Yeah. Like... Just the low kick is enough to destroy like any boxer. 